All right, uh, some information for your upcoming test. I've got the um, questions written on my phone um, so I can kind of tell you what is going to be going on on this thing. So uh, first and foremost is this test gives you options. Uh, my goal on this was to try to kind of let you pick on stuff um, that's going to work better with your individual style of learning. Um, I'm calling this a higher order thinking test because it's going to force you to think versus simply recall and remember individual events um, because I want you to understand the concept more than I want you to understand exactly all the little tiny minute details of World War II. Uh, so the first part of the test is going to be, I'm going to give you an option of 12 different questions. Of these 12 different questions, you have to pick six of those different questions to answer. And these are simply recall questions. They're simpler, um, they come directly from the notes for the most part, or something we've worked on in class that you just simply need to know. Okay, so it's gonna be those basic kind of questions. Questions like, uh, what three countries made up the Axis? Okay, so we know that's Japan, we know that's uh, Hitler, if Nazi Germany, and we know that's going to be fascist Italy. Uh, who are the leaders of the Allied powers? We know that's gonna be Truman and Roosevelt, Stalin, and then Churchill. So it's those kind of questions just simple, um, write stuff down with that. When it comes to those questions, uh, you need to just answer those in short answer format. So for if or for example, if we were to say, um, what country attacked Pearl Harbor, you would just write Japan. You wouldn't need to write, Pearl Harbor was attacked by Japan. So all you'd need to do, okay? So that's gonna be the part, part right there. Second part of the test is going to be analyze questions. So analyze questions, you need to pick five analyzed questions and you're going to be answering those. So the compare or the recall questions are only worth one point a piece. The analyzed questions are going to be um, worth two points a piece. This is gonna come down primarily um, to kind of major things that happened in the war, like analyze the impact of the Battle of Berlin. Well, we know this battle was significant because it led to the end of World War II. It allowed uh, Hitler shot himself. It led to the battle or the war being over. So look at those kind of questions right through there, okay? Maybe like appeasement, talking about that. What is appeasement? Why is um, appeasement important at this time period? Giving dictators what they want and hope they don't want anything else. Okay, why is that problematic to possibly be doing? Uh, that's kind of the stuff you're going to be doing on those questions. Um, these ones need to be answered in sentence format, meaning if you want the full two points, you need to answer them in complete sentences. If you just write like um, uh, significance of Pearl Harbor, U.S. now involved, that's not a full sentence, that's a sentence fragment. You're going to get one point because that is true, but you're not following the instructions, you're not writing a uh, sentence like you're asked, therefore I'm not going to be giving you the full points. Make sure you're reading the directions in front of you right there. Next you are going to have compare questions. There's going to be one, two, three, four, five compare questions. You simply need to pick, it looks like, three of those questions. Pick three of those compare questions, answer these questions in paragraph form. Okay, paragraph, minimum about four sentences, you have an introduction explaining what's going on, give the summary stuff, kind of a concluding paragraph or concluding sentence down there at the end. These are going to be stuff that's a little bit more um, significant. Okay, compare action T4 to the Holocaust, the events that took place right there. Um, compare the Japanese internment camps the United States had to the concentration camps the Nazis had. You're kind of looking at two different things and saying what are similar and then what are different about these. Next, you're going to get down into infer questions. Infer questions, I give you 31 through 38. Okay, so you've got that number of questions right there. They're worth four points a piece. The compare questions are only worth three points a piece. Uh, the infer questions, as I said, are worth four. These ones you need to answer again in paragraph form. Um, these are ones that are going to kind of force you to think a little bit. Okay, stuff like, um, whether or not the United States was justified in dropping the atomic bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Okay, maybe they were only justified in dropping the bomb in Hiroshima, but not in Nagasaki. Um, was Hitler's rise to power justified? Okay, the way he went about that, yes or no? Take an argument and explain why that is. That's going to be in paragraph form right through there. And lastly, the last portion of this, I give you one, two, three, four, evaluate questions to answer from. Now evaluate questions must be done in essay format. Um, these are going to be worth 20 points. Now, these are going to be big things that we have talked about in class. These are going to be things that you have a bunch of information on already, and they are things that you could take either direction. Okay, It's not like a this is the only answer to this one. There are a lot of different ways you can pick and explain upon those. Pick one of them, answer it through there. Now, you're probably wondering where you're going to be answering these sheets. Is What I've done um, is I have a sheet that I'll pass out to you. Okay, you've got your cover sheet, uh, traditional test cover sheet. You're going to have the test questions on another sheet of paper. And then behind that, 
you're going to have the actual answer. So it's going to simply say, um, give you a section to write, and it's going to say, like, compare. And then they're going to have questions. So it's going to be blank, where you'll just simply write the number of your question and then answer the question right through there. So I'm giving you a bunch of information on this one. I'm kind of letting you take the freedom uh, to take this where you want to take this individual test. Uh, tomorrow in class, we're going to be reviewing, going over stuff as well. Uh, so make sure you guys are paying attention tomorrow in class. Make sure you're there on time um, so you can get the full set of review stuff going through there. And if you have questions, as always, please get a hold of me through email. Come talk to me tomorrow at break. Pop into my room um, before school. Anything like that, I'm more than happy to help you out. Otherwise, relax. Take a deep breath. You've got this. Uh, go back, watch over the notes, and good luck. I will see you later.